Hi College Academy, my name is Lena and I'm a recent CA graduate. I was class of 2022 and I'm going to be attending Pace University in the fall. I was fortunate enough to earn over $1.2 million in scholarships from the 13 schools I applied to, so I'm here to give you some tips and tricks on navigating the college process and applying to schools that will give you the money because honestly I found it kind of difficult navigating it for the first time but one thing I needed to do was secure the bag and I'm sure you guys are looking for a way to get more money for school, so I'm here to help you. My number one tip is to not compromise. Do not compromise going to a school that you think is gonna give you more money when they don't even offer what major you wanna go into, your field of study, if it's not in an area that you'd want to be in, if you're really big on sports and they have no sports at the school. Do not compromise for something that you want just because you think you're going to get more money because at the end of the day, this is your education. Make sure that you want to go to the school or like you could actually see yourself at the school. And especially when it comes to area of study, do not apply to a school that does not offer your area of study, but you think it's gonna give you a lot of money because it might just be like a waste of time for you. So do not compromise on that. That's my biggest tip if and my biggest takeaway from my whole experience. Look into each individual school's scholarship and program requirements because for some schools they have, okay, if you have this GPA and if you have this many volunteer hours, you're offered this scholarship. So if you want to try to raise your GPA or get more volunteer hours, you know, okay, I'll be getting this much money if I apply to this school and get in and, you know, stuff like that because it's very important to kind of like have um, a clear amount of how much money you can get, like an average kind of, so you know your options beforehand. Um, for example, I'm in the Pace Honors College and Honors College students get a minimum $15,000 scholarship a semester. So that's something you might wanna look into. You know, are there honors programs, are there programs and tiers within the school that guarantee a certain amount of money? If so, you might wanna to apply to those and take the extra step in. Don't shy away from competitive programs such as Coca-Cola Scholars, Posse, Quest Bridge. Even if you think you might not get it, I was a Posse finalist and although I didn't get the scholarship, it opened a lot of doors for me because I had schools reaching out to me seeing that I was involved with the program and inviting me to apply. And also, if a school sends you those free application waivers, look into the school if it's something that you think you know you, you think is kind of cool or you can see yourself there apply because you're going to get a whole bunch of those emails in your inbox like every day free application waiver free application by this time if you're interested in the school and you feel like okay you know it might not hurt to give it a shot apply take the time take however much time it is to sit down and you know put in your application because it could end up working out really really well for you when it comes to seeking outside scholarships and these are scholarships and money not offered by the school themselves but outside organizations use Naviance. i know that the brace counselors and our guidance counselors are telling us to use it use it use it please do it was a very very useful resource for me and i found a lot of it and it was easy to filter easy to navigate and if you don't want to use Naviance, I'm not encouraging not using it. But if you don't and you're more social media savvy, look for Instagram pages that post scholarship opportunities. There are a lot out there and there are a lot of South Florida based ones. So make sure that you're bookmarking the opportunities and actually going and applying. And, you know, sometimes you might have to write an essay for it, make a video. Just do it. I was lazy at first, but I was like, you know what? Money is money and I'm going to get that money. So make sure to just do it. You write essays for free and to get a grade, you know, do it for some money. If you're like me and you didn't really care where you went to school or where you're going to attend university, this is like me more towards the beginning of the application process. Um, I applied to a lot of Midwestern schools, like schools in Ohio and stuff like that. And those schools gave me the most money because of their dem student demographics. So they might not be that diverse, but it's still a good area. It's still um, a very good school with good programs, academics, sports, everything. And um, I ended up getting the most money from those schools. So anywhere that you see yourself as an asset or that, you know, maybe they need a more diverse community. Maybe they need someone who plays sports, someone who has um, a lot of experience with hackathons and coding. Look for schools like that where you will be like an asset to them 
and apply because those are the schools that I got the most money from. My last tip when it comes to securing scholarships is to stay organized. You can reuse your essays if they have similar prompts for outside scholarships and just do your research because researching is what led me to apply to certain schools which led me to getting more money and it really is about the effort but trust me the effort pays off at the end of the day when you don't have to worry as much or even at all about paying for college because it's expensive like i said so make sure to get the bag and i believe in you guys you guys are college academy students the best of the best you already have a leg up on the competition um, from other schools because you're going in with your aa you know so definitely take advantage of that do your research do not be discouraged for competitive programs or when it comes to writing essays or anything use naviance use naviance and don't be afraid to ask for help make sure to keep pushing you could start even in your junior year it's never too late to start looking for scholarships and just get the bag